Hi, I'm Ike Ellis, and I want to show you something cool I found with Redgate SQL Prompt. One of the things you can do is if you're in a stored procedure and you want to take some of the code, like a little bit of the logic, and you want to create a different stored procedure, like for instance, I'm getting data from customers table and the orders table, but I'm doing both by the customer ID, which is a parameter being handed into the stored procedure. What you can do with SQL Prompt is you can pull the SQL Prompt menu down and you could say encapsulate as new stored procedure. And it says, well, what name do you want to give it? I want to give it get orders. And what you'll find is it took the get orders for procedure and it found the dependency on the sys ID and it added it as a parameter here. And then it took your code and encapsulated it in a new store procedure. So when you, you look at the script, you can see that it looks kind of exactly how I would write it if I was going to write it by hand. But the other thing it did is it went back to your original store procedure and it replaced that code with the call to the store procedure you just created. And that's just a really cool way of refactoring. We've had that ability to do it in Visual Studio for a long time. And it's great that SQL Prompt brought this into Management Studio so that we could do it with Transact SQL. Hopefully you think that's a cool tip and you download SQL Prompt and try it out for yourself. Thanks. Have a great day.